بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس اینڈ ویورز السلام علیکم ویلکم یو آل ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول بی لرننگ لنگوسٹکس ایم سی کیوز فار کمپٹیٹو ایگزامس دیٹ از فار گیٹ سبجیکٹ لنگوسٹکس اینڈ فار ادر ایگزامس اینڈ ریمبر ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس دیز ایم سی کیوز آر بیسڈ آن سرٹن ڈیفینیشن ٹرمس یوزڈ ان لنگوسٹکس سو دیز ٹرمس آر یوزڈ ان uh mcqs okay i have made uh, mcqs on the basis of these terms and definitions let's start mcqs number first the scientific study of human language is called linguistic linguistics linguistics with s okay linguistics is the name of the studies so that is scientific study of human language is called linguistics mcq number two Human beings can talk about their present, past and future. This property of language is called duality, arbitrariness, displacement. Yes, it means that human beings are able to refer to present, past and future time uh, in their language or through their language. Okay, so this, uh, like, uh, uh, this property of language is called displacement and this property is lacking in the communicative signals of animals mcq number 3 there is no connection between a linguistic form and its meaning describes so it's another important property of human languages there is no connection between a linguistic form word okay and its meaning like we are using a word dog Uh, for the object dog so between these two object dog and the word dog there is no relation so this relation this property of language is called arbitrariness it means that uh, there is like no iconic relation and this relation is arbitrary okay mutual agreed upon by the community of that uh, very language members mcq number 4 we can utter new and novel sentences novel words and sentences but animal can't it describes which property of language this is called productivity or sometimes this is also called uh, open endedness or uh, like uh, uh, open endedness or uh, creativity okay so we can utter novel words and sentences new words and novel words and sentences but animal can't okay this is the important property of human language which is called productivity another important mcq a little change in the sound can change the meaning describes which property of human language yes when little change occurs in the uh, sound so Uh, changes also uh, take place in the meaning of words so this property is called uh, discreteness okay this is the property of human language mcqs number 6 the journal study of characteristics of speech sound is called phonetics and the particular language study uh, language speech study is called phonology it's very much Uh, easy mcq number 7 the study of the study of movement of speech organs in articulation of speech or the study of how the speech sounds are made is called articulatory phonetics yes how speech organs are moving while producing sounds so this is called articulatory phonetics Uh, option C is the correct option. MCQ is number eight. The study of perceptions of speech sound is called auditory phonetics. Okay, perception, reception, uh, understanding of the sound is called auditory phonetics. MCQ is number uh, sorry. Option D is the correct option. MCQ is number nine. The study of sounds involving speakers' identification. an analysis of recorded utterances is called forensic phonetics yes this is for the purpose of quote 
like uh, investigations uh, of the investigation of the crime and criminals okay for legal purposes we are recording sounds and then we are making analysis of those sounds in order to recognize or realize or identify speaker of these uh, sounds okay so this is called forensic linguist forensic phonetics Musical number 10 when the vocal cords are spread apart in the air from the lungs process between them unimpeded without any stoppage okay the sound is called voiced unvoiced voiceless both yes voiceless and voice both sounds like both types of sounds are created by this process 11 when there is some vibration in vocal cord while producing sound the sound will be voiced yes we can we can feel it with the touching of the uh, uh, finger okay touch the finger on vocal cord you will uh, realize that when we are producing voice sound we are feeling uh, vibration or while we are creating unvoiced sounds there is no vibration in the vocal cord so when we feel vibration uh, while producing sounds in the vocal cord the sound will be voice sound mcq is number 12 there are total day sounds in english language yes we have 44 sounds in english language it's very much important uh, uh, in phonetics and phonology we are in phonology especially in english phonology we are studying these 44 sounds the production of these 44 sounds is very important so there are total 44 sounds in english language mcq number 13 total number of vowel in consonant sounds in english respectively 24 to 20 20 and 24 option b is the correct option 20 sounds are vowel sounds and 24 sounds are consonant sounds so in total they are 14 in number okay 14 sounds are further divided into two types vowel in consonants vowel sounds are 20 in number and 24 are consonant sounds in english language mcq number 14 the sounds in english language are classified as bilabials dentals alveolar etc it is according to their place of articulation yes on the basis of place of articulation we are like classifying or uh, grouping sounds like uh, uh bilabials we have bilabial like bilabials are those sounds which are produced uh, from the upper and lower lips okay like m uh, we are discussing later on in next mcqs there are so uh the sounds in english language are classified as bilabials dentals alveolar etc it is according to their a place of articulation sometimes we are like grouping sound or classifying sounds on the basis of uh, their uh, utterances on the basis of articulation on the basis of like um, place of articulation and sometimes on the basis of manner of articulation like on the uh, on the basis of manner of articulation we have stop sound we have hard sound and we have soft sound so uh, on the basis of manner of articulation these are on the basis of uh, place of articulation okay mcq number 15 the sounds which are formed using both upper and lower lips like m, b, w are called bilabials. Yes, and the, uh, when lower lip and uh, upper lips are used in the production of sounds, so these sounds will be called bilabial sounds. So, dear students, uh, thanks for watching. If you are having any question, you can ask. Feel to ask question. Okay, feel easy to ask question uh, so in this uh, in today's uh, lecture we have learned 15 mcqs and these mcqs were based on certain definition in terms of linguistics 
for the students of linguistics these uh, terms and definition in these mcqs are very important assalamu alaikum